So while some companies are making it more difficult for their partners and competitors, I'm looking at you, Apple, and the whole Fortnite Epic Games saga. There is one company that's been really interesting in the last few weeks and months, and that's been Microsoft, of all people. Now, love them or hate them, Microsoft are doing some really, really interesting stuff. So you may have seen over the last few weeks, they launched the Microsoft Surface Duo, which is essentially a mobile phone hybrid with a Microsoft Surface device. So instead of running Windows, it's running Android which is really, really cool and really, really interesting. So there you have this close partnership now with Android and Google. Um, and this device is pretty cool. It folds like a book. Um, it's quite thin, it's quite small, it's quite light. I'm, I'm itching to get my hands on one of them because it looks really, really cool. Um, but the big thing about this is the relationship and the partnership they've done with uh, Google and the Android operating system as a result. So with this in mind, they've also done something really, really cool on existing Android phones, and that's expanded the capabilities of Phone Companion. So if you haven't used Phone Companion before, it's basically a piece of software that installs as an app on your phone um, and a P uh, program on your PC and lets you have full control over your Android phone through your Windows PC. Now, up until recently, this was limited to kind of checking text messages and looking at images from the gallery and a few other bits and bobs um, but in the last little while starting with Samsung devices they've expanded this to now you have full control over apps uh, running programs even making and receiving calls through your Windows PC via your Android phone this works with a combination of either Wi-Fi and 3G uh, and Bluetooth. So it can actually connect Bluetooth to your phone to make and receive the calls through audio um, and then through wireless or, or Wi-Fi and 3G to actually control the phone itself. So I wanted to show you a quick look at Phone Companion today, um, but a couple of quick things before I do. Um, if you don't have the latest Android software version, you may have to install this from the Play Store. So this is pretty straightforward. You go into the Play Store, look for a uh, Phone Companion, um, and it installs as an app. Depending on the version of Android that you have, you may find certain things are not available to you just yet. This is something that they're rolling out the features of across the app and across Android and across Windows um, kind of at the same time um, so don't be alarmed or be worried if you don't have all the features that I show you here they will be rolling out obviously if your phone can support them the next thing you do is obviously install Windows Phone Companion on your PC. The latest updates of Windows 10 have this already pre-baked into it, as do the latest versions of Android have it pre-baked into your phone. So let's take a look quickly at, at Phone Companion on the PC. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on my Android phone and a, I actually have the latest version of Android or well not the latest and greatest but I have the most up to date for this phone the Samsung Note 9 installed and this actually has phone companion baked in um, but if you don't all you have to do is go into the Google Play Store and search for phone companion. and it'll show up as your phone companion linked to Windows. Uh, click into that and hit install, or it might give you the option to update if it's already on your Android device. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do uh, because um, it then takes kind of a back seat on the phone, if you will, in that it's it doesn't show up as an app anymore, um, which it used to do. You used to have to run the app from the mobile phone before you were connected to the PC um, and connected that way. But now once it's installed, um, it runs in the background and now will kind of stay connected to your PC at all times. So let's take a look at it now on the PC. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do if you don't have My Phone Companion installed, um, is go into the Microsoft Store and install it. Um, it's also a good idea if you have the latest uh, update of Microsoft Windows to just go in here and check that it's updated the app as well, that it's updated the Phone Companion app. So you can find it in the App Store as your phone. So I'm just gonna search in here. Games, movies, apps, there you go, your phone installed. And I'm just gonna check that it's the most up-to-date version on this um, oh, product is installed. Okay, yeah, and it's not giving me the option to update, so it is the latest version. So we'll just launch that. 
Okay, so once I get into my phone companion or your phone as it is on Windows, it says sync over Wi-Fi or mobile data. So it gives me the option to either sync this app via mobile data or Wi-Fi. Currently I'm using um, 3G, I'm using, well, 4G on the phone itself. Um, so I'm not gonna get as quick a connection or as quick a turnaround, but it'll still be quite useful. So the first thing you can have is notifications. So if there's any notifications on your P on your mobile screen, you'll see them in here. This is the drop down from the top. Um, you'll also see there's a little picture of my phone screen there so I can actually so I can actually see my phone screen here. Again, this really works much better on Wi-Fi rather than on uh, 3 or 4G, but this is my phone screen. My daughter looking very happy with herself all dressed up there. Um, we'll just close that again for a second because I can actually click in these um, and operate the phone uh, from here. It's not hugely responsive, but it does work. Um, but let's go back so I can check my messages. I'm not gonna click into that, but that's essentially my text messages. Um, and it'll show me all my text messages and things from people. Um, but obviously, you know, there's some personal stuff in there. Uh, photos, again, um, I can see some of my photos by clicking in here so I can see um, some screenshots that I've done um, and some photos I've taken with the camera. And I can actually download these then onto the PC. The interesting ones though are calls. Um, and apps and calls will let you connect and um, if you see over here you can connect to the PC turn on the Bluetooth on your PC um, and now once that's connected I can actually make and receive calls through the Windows PC through the phone so with Bluetooth connects to the phone and makes the calls that way but the really cool one is the apps function and the apps basically shows me uh, a list of all the apps installed on my phone and I can now run these um, on my desktop PC um, or my laptop as if I was running them on the uh, phone itself so if I wanted to for example load um, I don't know Disney Plus The only thing to note is that you do need to have the phone screen unlocked in order to do this. Um, but now you can see it's running Disney Plus, and now that's running Disney Plus as if I was running it on the phone itself, um, which is really handy. Let's open another one. So we'll open um, do, 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 eBay just as an example. Let's double click, oops, double click on eBay. And there you go. Now you'll notice it doesn't change the aspect ratio when I try and stretch it and squeeze it. So I am still limited a little bit as to how big I can get it. But this is still kind of handy if I want to, um, you know, use my keyboard and mouse on the PC rather than on the mobile phone itself. So this is really, really handy. And it means that as long as my phone is connected, as long as my phone is on, um, I can remote connect and use it this way. Um, there's a couple of settings you can change, as I said. So cross device copy and paste is really useful to let you copy things to and from the PC uh, and the phone, which means if you're writing messages and whatever else, um, it also lets you turn off certain things like the personalization um, and whatever else to make it run a little bit more smoothly. You can turn off notifications. What's really handy is that if you leave the um, phone companion app running on your PC, any notifications that you get on your phone will also show up on the PC. Any calls that come in on your phone will also the ring on the PC which is really really handy um, so this is a really really brilliant um, kind of way of merging your phone and your PC and cross controlling them um, so I'd highly recommend if you have a Windows PC and an Android phone updating um, and seeing what uh, features and functions you have available to you um, and start using this to control your PC so there you have it phone companion is absolutely amazing it lets you have full control over your phone um, and while this may seem like something that's a bit of a gimmick it's actually really useful to be able to use the apps from the phone on a much larger screen using a keyboard and mouse but not only that if you're working from home and you have your phone down in one place and the pc in another place this is a great way of just kind of merging the capabilities of everything into one um, and using just one device so i have found this absolutely invaluable while i've been working from home um, and 
the, the fact that it can actually work um, over 3G as well as wireless, um, well obviously with limitations, is really, really great. Um, it's something that I would highly recommend you checking out, particularly if you are somebody who's constantly on your phone and there are specific apps or programs that you can only use on the Android operating system and that you can't run in Windows. This is a great way of kind of bridging that gap. So guys, I hope you found this useful. I'd really appreciate if you gave this video an old like. Um, that will let YouTube know that this is an interesting video and that it might be useful for other people and that way more people can see it. Um, and I'd really appreciate if you gave this channel an old subscribe, um, which keeps me motivated to do more of them. Um, as always, you can follow me on social media on all of these below. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to know about the Windows Companion or Phone Companion, please hit me up in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you as quick as I can. With that in mind though, all that's left to say is bye bye for now.